Today we will be talking about blending non-texture properties. The blend non-texture properties setting allows us to combine materials with different properties like color tints and smoothness. We can also combine materials with no textures, only color tints. This scene contains two different props with two different materials. The materials use the same texture but have different color tints and smoothness settings. This material has a green tint and a smoothness of 1. This material has a red tint and a smoothness of 0. Baking these materials into a single atlas produces a combined material with a single color tint and smoothness property. The combined mesh will either be all green or all red. Blend non-texture properties fixes this problem. Let's enable this setting, then bake the textures and the meshes. The same albedo texture has been baked several times into the atlas, each time with a different color tint. A metallic gloss map has also been generated. The two different smoothness values have been baked into the metallic gloss map. The combined mesh looks correct even though the combined material has only one color tint value and one smoothness value. Blend non-texture properties also works with materials with no textures. These low poly solid color props don't use textures, only color tints. Mesh Baker can create an atlas from these materials. A small 16 by 16 pixel solid color texture is created for each distinct color tint and added to an atlas. Sometimes low poly characters like this one use a tiny atlas containing a few solid color blocks. Here's an example of an atlas with only 6 colors. The atlas only has 16 pixels. The UVs sample the center of each color block. In this case, each color block is a single pixel. Here are some tips for combining solid color block atlases like this one. Increase the size of the source textures so that each color block has at least 3x3 or 4x4 pixels. When sampling single pixel textures, even a half pixel error can result in very different colors. Disable mitmaps in the texture importer for the generated atlas. As the distance changes, mitmaps will cause objects to change color. Set the filter mode to point in the texture importer for the generated atlas. You should also use at least one pixel of padding, and use the force power of two setting. Now I'll explain how the blend non-texture properties setting works. Shaders contain mathematical calculations that blend color tints and other properties with texture colors. MeshBaker includes texture blender scripts that bake these calculations into the textures as the textures are being copied to the atlas. Each different shader requires its own script. Scripts are included for the standard specular, standard metallic, URP, HDRP, and bump diffuse shaders. If you're using a custom shader, you can write your own texture blender script. We recommend copying one of the included scripts and modifying it to work with your shader. It may work with no changes if your shader uses the same property names as one of these shaders. It's not always possible to bake shader calculations into an atlas. For example, blend non-texture properties will not work with complicated shaders that generate geometry using lookup textures. As an example, I'll make a texture blender for this free tune shader from the Asset Store. By selecting the shader, we can see all of its property names in the inspector. The color tint property that I want to blend uses the same name as the standard diffuse shader, so I'll use that as my template. The script will blend the color tint into each pixel of the main text texture when it's added to the atlas. I can duplicate the script from the Mesh Baker Scripts Texture Blenders folder and change the name so I know it's for Tune Shader Free. Afterwards, you can move this blender script to somewhere else in your project assets. That way, it won't accidentally be lost after updating Mesh Baker. If we open up the script, I first have to change the class name to match the renamed file. Since blending the color property is already handled, all I should have to change is the does shader name match method so that the texture baker uses this blender when it encounters a tune shader free material. With that saved, I can now use the blend non texture property setting with some tune shader free objects and it will generate atlases with the color tints blended in, allowing me to combine all these meshes with a shared material. If you're using a custom shader that has unique property names, the process of creating a custom texture blender is a bit more involved. Check out our advanced tutorial on creating custom texture blenders linked in the description to learn more. Mesh Baker is available on the Unity Asset Store. Visit us at digitalopus.ca for more tips and tricks for using Mesh Baker.